Hello friends, this video on food production enhancement part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will talk about the last technique for enhancement of food production and that is tissue culture. So what is tissue culture? So it is maintenance and growth of plant tissues under sterile conditions on a nutrient culture medium. So in tissue culture what we do is instead of growing all the plants in a suitable environment because as I said every time you will not get a suitable piece of land with the suitable environmental conditions for a particular plant to grow. So that is not possible all the time. So that is why this is a technique where if you have a single plant cell or a single plant tissue or a particular organ of the plant so with any part of the plant you can actually grow the entire plant under sterile condition what is sterile sterile means totally clean the i mean it, it should be totally germ free so there should be no germs so in under those clean conditions on a nutrient culture medium so in the laboratory itself you can produce new plants just from one single plant cell or one single plant tissue and this process is known as tissue culture. So with this, just imagine you do not, you are completely independent of the environmental factors. You are completely independent of the land requirement. So you can grow all the plants in your lab. So the more cultures you grow, the more plants you get. So you can grow thousands of plants at the same time simultaneously in your lab. So tissue culture is again an excellent technique to grow more number of plants in a shorter period of time. Now what is the basis of tissue culture? Under what logic does the concept of tissue culture work? So this, the concept is very simple that a plant can be regenerated from an explant. What is explant? Explant is nothing but a small part of the plant. It can be a plant cell, it can be a plant tissue, it can be a plant organ which is taken out of the plant and then grown in a test tube and that test tube should be sterile completely germ-free and it should contain all the necessary nutrients. So it, with that, that explant can grow into the complete plant. So that small plant part is known as explant. So the basis of tissue culture is that one complete plant can be grown from the explant. And this capacity to generate a whole plant from a part or a cell of the plant is known as totipotency. So this capability of the plant or a cell to grow and form the complete original plant is known as totipotency. So totipotency is the term given to this capability. So now the question is, let us suppose if this was the original plant. You take a small part of this plant, any small part of this plant and then you put it inside a, a test tube. So here you can see too many test tubes, one, two, three and so on. So inside the laboratory you take test tubes, put inside the test tube the nutrient medium. It should be sterile, germ free and then you will see that plant starts growing inside each test tube and that is how you can generate more and more new plants. Now the question is what should be there in the nutrient medium when we say that the test tube should be completely clean and it should contain nutrient medium what all nutrients should the test tube contain. So the test tube should basically contain a source of carbon like sucrose which can act as a food for the growing plant because the growing plant also needs uh, some food for carrying out all the growth activities. Vitamins should be present there amino acids so these are the essential things which should be present inside that test tube and most importantly the growth hormones like auxins and cytokinins these are the growth hormones which regulate growth in case of plants so all these growth hormones should be present inside the test tube so if all these things are present in the form of the nutrient medium then the plant will be able to grow and what will be the result you get you will get multiple identical plants to that of the original plant so this was the original plant and these are the plants which you obtain and they are all identical to the original plant so this is how tissue culture takes place now in with regards to tissue culture there is another term which is called micro propagation what does it mean 
it means production of a large number of plants in very short duration so that is what that exactly happens in case of tissue culture so when you follow this technique of tissue culture you end up having a huge number of plants being formed in a very short duration so the plants are propagating in short time so it is called micro that is small propagation that means to propagate or to increase in number so the plants increase in number in very small duration and the mo most important thing to be noted here is that the plants which are formed are genetically exactly identical to the original plant. So if this was the original plant and these are the new plants which are formed, so all of them are exactly identical to each other and they are also identical to the uh, original plant. So they are termed as soma clones. Now anything which is exactly identical are called clones and in this case they are given the name soma clones. So each plant formed is exactly identical to the original plant. Now with this concept of tissue culture or micropropagation, whatever you call it, with this concept, commercially a large number of uh, plants have been formed. For example, tomato, apple, they are all grown like this. So, so that they can be grown on a commercial scale. That means huge number of plants getting formed within very short period of time. So now what are the advantages of tissue culture? Now few advantages are very obvious. For example, you get large number of plants produced in a very short time. So that is definitely one advantage. Next is healthy plants can be recovered from diseased plants. Now how can you recover healthy plants from diseased plants? Now what do we mean by diseased plant? Maybe a plant which is already infected by some pathogen. Now let, it has been observed that even if a plant is affected by some virus or some other pathogen, most of the time the meristem part of the plant it remains unaffected. So the meristem, I hope you all remember what is meristem. Meristem is that part of the plant which contains the meristematic tissue. That is the part which continuously keeps on growing. So we have studied about these things uh, in the earlier lessons of class 11th where we talked about the epical meristem which is present at the tip of the root and the shoot. So let us see how can we recover healthy plants from diseased plants. So as I said, so now since the meristem part will still remain healthy, so what can be done is the meristematic tissue can be taken out from the original plant. So that meristematic tissue will act as the explant and then it can be grown by tissue culture. So what will happen? Now since the explant was virus free, it was not infected, so therefore the new plants which will be formed in the tissue culture will all be virus free. So we are actually able to recover healthy plants from the original diseased plant. So this is another advantage of... Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for an easy four-step learning process absolutely free of cost. Watch video lessons, ask questions, refer notes, and take an online test. Thank you once again.